Hey, welcome to episode two of learning the basics on fishing. Now, have you got your rod? Have you got your reel? Are you ready? How about fishing line? Did you get your fishing line? There are three main kinds of fishing lines in this monofilament, braid, and then fluorocarbon, which I don't have any fluorocarbon with me right now. But uh, fluorocarbon, let's just say, really good line. And it is designed more for uh, sinking because like your monofilament, it doesn't float, but it doesn't sink real good. So it, it's all around good line. Now your braided line, it floats more and it's better used for heavy cover when uh, fishing around brush and stuff like that because it handles the nicks and everything like bringing it across a stick or anything handles it better than monofilament. But monofilament has a good stretch to it so if you've got a reel and a rod that uh, needs a little flexibility, monofilament. And I recommend monofilament on the spin cast type reels. But uh, I have tried braided on them. And the little notches on your spool on a spin cast tend to slip over and it doesn't work real well. And there's also the, the heavy duty monofilament. This is 17 pound. And it is not designed for the smaller spin cast. It's good for the big catfish reels. And you can look at them and see the difference. Um, it's a good strong line. And this, this one happens to be by Spiderwire Ultracast Ultimate Mono, 17 pound. And of course my braided line is Spiderwire. This is the uh, Stealth Braid, 30 pound. A uh, big difference between your mono and your braid and your fluorocarbon, besides just the strength, is the diameter. This braid line is uh, 0.30 millimeters in diameter. Like I said, it's a 30 pound test with a 10 pound diameter. And when it says that, it's comparing it to like your monofilaments. This monofilament is uh, 0.27 millimeters and it's eight pound and this is one that I recommend the just all around fishing for your smallmouth bass crappie perch stuff like that actually you could go smaller but uh, sometimes you get kind of hung up and you need a little strength to pull that hook on through you might get caught up in some moss and stuff. And if you have too small of a line, you stand a greater chance of breaking it. Odds are you won't break it unless you just yank on it. But uh, this is strand. It's a really good line. Monofilament won't sink real good, but it won't float either. It just kind of buoyants. Buoyant. Buoyant. Whereas your fluorocarbon is good for sinking if you're using crankbaits or stuff like that and we'll get into that later and your spider or your braided line is good for top water and extra strength and stuff like that that just motors out the bottom so anyway that is your main lines fluorocarbon braid and monofilament and I recommend monofilament for beginning fishing. There's special applications that you use different lines for but if you're just starting out just worry about the basics. That's all we're covering. Now on to something that I didn't get a real good picture of was tying the knot in the last video. If you haven't seen that the first episode uh, look down there in the description and there'll be a link to it it's covering the reels and 
what I think is the best ones to begin with for beginners. So, y'all, hang on a second. I'm going to move this camera a little closer and get to where we can see tying this knot. Y'all hang loose for just a second. All right, we are inside now, so hopefully this won't be blurring. Got some better lighting. So take this line, run it through the eyelet. Take your finger, put it right there. Now take this in and go around the main line. One, two, three, four, five. We're just going to go five times. You can go more if you want to, or one or two less. I usually go about five to ten. Now, take this tag end, the short end, run it through that loop where your finger was. And that creates another loop right here where this finger is. See, right there. Now run that back in through there. Just like that. And grab that. Grab that piece right there with your fingers and hold it. Now take your main line and cinch it down. Just pull it. Once you get it started you can let go of that. And there you go. That knot is there to stay. It's just the basic fisherman knot. You can take scissors or clippers or whatever you have and cut off this axis. There you go. There's your knot. And it 99% of the time will not come undone. Well, I hope that's helped y'all on your fish lines. And I'm going to try to keep all these short so you don't get too bored. But one thing I didn't mention was the uh, visibility of the fishing lines. Your monofilament has a higher visibility than your fluorocarbon fluorocarbon fishing line as well as the braided there you can see them a little bit better under the water now they may say that they're invisible but they're not the fish can see them unless you're in some stained to muddy water most of the water around where I live is muddy and darkly stained we've got a few lakes uh, Amon Carter by buoy is uh it it's moderately stained it's fairly clear possum kingdom is generally crystal clear water and there you probably want to go with a fluorocarbon but fluorocarbon costs a lot more so if you're just starting out and you're not real sure if fishing is going to be your thing just stick with the monofilament it is a good line that's been around for years and years you can get different uh, test strengths. This one's eight pound, and that's the good average that I recommend for your spin cast reels. And uh, that's about all I got for today. So y'all be sure to watch for the next episode. I'm going to go to the store, and we're going to look at different sizes of hooks and what they're actually for, and a few weights and maybe some bobbers. So y'all be sure to be watching for that video. It will be coming out soon. Uh, probably in a couple of days. I'm going to try to do these every other day. But, you know, things in life happen. So, we'll see how it goes. But anyway, monofilament. Y'all keep on keeping on. And I'll see y'all down the road. Bye, y'all.